Hello everybody and welcome to the Avian Specialty Inks Facebook Live event on the IMS Recycle feature. This feature allows you to grab a color off the shelf to use as a component for, to match another Pantone color. In this instance we grab a 101C off the shelf and we select what will 101C create. You'll get a list of colors and the formulas and as you step through each one of them, it'll show you that most of the time one of the components is a zero. So you're actually able to mix that color without that component. Say if you are low on one particular component like uh, sunshine yellow or the white or maybe a fluorescent yellow, you're able to go through all the colors and figure out which one you want to recycle. Once you select that, it'll create a new formula without the component that you're missing. In this case, we selected 107C. You simply print it out. And you send it out to the ink department for them to start the mix. As you can see from this point, you're just following the formula, just like you would any other regular formula using the different components. In this case, you're using a finished color as one of the mixing colors. This feature was originally designed to keep inventory low. So if you have a wall full of colors, you can actually delete inventory as you're mixing new color. With the recent developments of raw material shortages and controlled shipments, you may get low on one of your mixing components. This is a great feature to help you create color without having to use a mixing color you may be low on. We just happen to be using the Rio system here but it can be used with any of the uh, finished ink systems and the equalizers and the PCs and base. So again it's a great way to keep inventory low but also not being stopped in production because you don't have quite enough mixing components to finish out the job. So as demonstrating here, the last of the regular mixing components. And you'll see we'll pop over to the ready-made ink. So we're looking for the 101C. It's a real mix off the shelf. And we'll add it in. Once it's complete, you just stir, just like you would any other mix, and you should end up with the exact target of 107C. We will strike both of these examples off at the end of the video. And there you have it. We had an overstock color and we made it into a new color. To use in production. The next example is similar. This time we actually have a target color of 107C. This is something you need in production now. And so you actually go under the recycle feature and you find out what can be pulled off your shelf to make it into 107C. So it's a different answer to the same problem. In this case, for instance, say you're low on sunshine yellow or one of the yellow components and you're looking through all the colors on sh the shelf that you can use as a component to make the 107C. That is your actual target in production. As you go through, it will show the formulas for each one. You can kind of take your choice. It will show you different percentages of the mix, what, which... Uh, formula will give you the most bang for your buck. And in this case we picked 114C as a component to create the 107C. Again you print it out, send it out to production, and we'll watch them mix this.
Again, just following the formula that was printed out exactly like you would any other Pantone match formula on the mixing system. Using the components first. There's actually no specific way of addition, but the goal is to put all the components in and then use the Pantone match at the end as one of the components. Both these colors are geared to match the same exact 107C, but it's two different ways to get there. One was using component on the shelf to create a color you need in production. The other was you have a specific color that you need right away and you can go diving into your shelf to use a color. In this case it's 114C right off the shelf. And if you were watching closely this gave us the ability to eliminate sunshine yellow which is the most used component in the mixing system behind white. And here it is, the final component, the 114C. And we are giving it new life in the 107C. All that's left now is to stir the ink and strike it to verify the Pantone color. These mixes are incredibly accurate as the system itself knows the component makeup of the color you're using off the shelf. It's just math. So here we're going to take it over to the strike off. I, we always recommend doing this. Just a small square, strike it. In this case we're putting both colors next to each other, the two we made today. One we made out of 101C, one we made out of 114C to create 107. Side by side, great strike. One flood, one stroke, and then we cure it before we look at the color. And as you can see, it's a good match. Thank you for joining us today. Hope to see you next week on Aviant Specialty Inks Facebook Live events.